Welcome, welcome back fellow fans of Clash of Clans. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. We've got a lot to cover in today's episode. Different clans we're following through this season CWL and some amazing stuff is happening. Now, first of all, if you would do me the favor, if you enjoy the content, please do subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications by clicking that little bell. And in return, I promise to bring you the most accurate and up-to-date early sneak peek and update information about Clash of Clans updates coming very, very soon. All right, let's get into first Dark Looters and what is an unbelievable matchup. Now, Dark Looters, of course, we would expect them as a top 10 clan in the world to be performing well, but check out their current war opponent. That's right, this clan. Okay, well, the thumbnail was not clickbait, okay? This clan is fielding the most ridiculous lineup for Champion 1. I, I don't even know how it's possible. You guys let me know down in the comments the explanation that you think is happening here, but yes, in Champion 1, they have fielded six Town Hall 12s, three 11s, five 10s, and a Town Hall 9 in Champion 1, facing a top five clan in the world. So, I mean, something strange is going on here, and I'm still getting constant reports from players saying that the matchups are wacky. Uh, is Champion 1 too big? Does it need to be smaller? Well, it is definitely going to get smaller with three clans getting demoted out of Champion League 1, the bottom three, but it's going to take a while to shrink it. Again, also in Champion 2, only one clan promotes. What happened to this Chinese clan? I'm assuming that's Chinese. I actually don't know, but if you guys want to translate, if anybody knows what's going on there, I would love to hear it either on the in the comments or on my Twitter at Galadon Gaming. All right, so let me know. Now, I will be sharing all sorts of amazing Dark Looter attacks and hopefully some defenses and base building tips at the end of this week. So look for that in coming days from Dark Looters. In the meantime, we are going to let them get through the week first before we explore any of their secret strategies that have propelled them to the top 10. Why they don't include me and my base, I'm, I'm, I'm still not sure. It may be the base design or it could, wait a minute. It could be these walls. That's what it is. It's the walls around the town hall. I don't, okay. I figure if I upgrade a few of these, then maybe, maybe I can get into a future war. Um, just a couple more level seven walls. Shoot, okay, so I don't quite have enough resources to go all the way level seven, all the way around the town hall 12, but I'm thinking once I get there, I'm gonna have a serious talk with Itsu and uh, see if I can't join. You know, I mean, come on. I will carry them. I'm happy to. I, I do it all the time. Okay, speaking of getting carried, let's go ahead and check out my Town Hall 9. That's right, the Farming Town Hall 9 Galadon. Now, this is full attack 4, FA4, and they are a fantastic clan that has journeyed up the ladder. They are on their way trying to get to Champion League. We've got a live attack right now. We've got a live attack right now, the last attack of the war. Full attack four is down by two stars. They need a three star right now because they've got one star. They need a three star attack from B Wells to win this war. They're ahead by percentage. He's got hog riders. He's looking good against the rainbow peppermint. I don't know what these walls are. That's supposed to be like an optical illusion or confuse you, but oh man, we lost a lot of hog riders to the spring traps. Spring traps, definitely one of the hog riders' worst nightmares. You can see only one inferno left, and it's a single target. Plenty of hog riders to get the job done. Everything is done for B Wells. That was the last spell. So the hog riders, well, there's only about three defenses left. Okay, four defenses left. Here comes some loons in through the heel. They're going to get that single target in front of the hog riders. Should. Get through the wizard tower. This is it for defenses. And we've got hog riders on the loose. Balloons. And, oh. Okay, almost no cleanup units at the top. So, you've got a pair of archers. Six players watching right now. Four from the opposing clan. And it looks like... it. Oh, man. It looks like it's going to be a time fail. Unfortunately, B. Wells putting together a fantastic attack but they're just taking too long to get through. 30 seconds, and if, if we look around the top, you've got a bunch of high hit point structures, all sorts of storages, and 25. Man, I this is going to be an absolute heartbreaker right here for full attack four. Look at, look at what is left. So 
it's going to be about a 90% or so two star. And if I saw the score correctly, oh man, if I saw the score, I think that full attack is just barely going to lose this war because of this. So we will watch this countdown and no, it's going to be exactly a 90% two star. B Wells with a beautiful attack and the little snowman going like, eh, I don't know. All right. So unfortunately, let's, did he just move? He just, the, the snowman just moved. Okay. Let's go check it out. Oh man. They lost by a star 15. All the attacks are completed. One, two, three, three, two, one. And, uh, man, this is a tough one. Check out the percentage. Full attack four was way ahead in percentage. Had they picked up that three star, this would have been a victory. As you can see, they have three one stars. That's what cost them right there. So very, very close. And this is, you know, a super tough bracket right here because you've got a mix. You know, you're going to be facing lower level Town Hall 12s, not all maxed out, obviously. And full attack fielding, I believe it is a five Town Hall 11s. They've, as I talked about before, been moving up and fielding more and more 12s in effort to just, you know, continue to move up the ranks and try to get to Champion 3. You can see those top two clans, though, with a pretty solid lead. Bofa and the Chinese clan, uh, they just defeated, or they just lost to 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1. So they'll pick up another 10 stars, but that still leaves full attack in third place after three rounds. And if you take a look at the rest of their schedule this week, they have yet to face the two toughest clans in the bracket. Uh, they will face them on days, it looks like days six and seven. So they've really got their work cut out for them, but I am super proud of Full Attack 4. They've done a great job overcoming the odds and despite being matched up against much tougher clans, have done really, really well. Now their war just ended right this second as we were recording this. So there you can see they lost by one star every attack used. And then we're gonna fast forward because check this out, the new war is going to start and we will see the lineup, full attack four fielding four Town Hall 11s and their opponents, what do they have? What do they have? One, two, three, four, five Town Hall 11s. So again, this is Master 1 trying to get to Champion 3. You can see that you're still not looking at solid Town Hall 12s, but man, the, the lineups I realize are really strange, okay? I know a lot of people are super frustrated about the lineups, about what they feel are mismatches, and I think that things still have yet to settle. I don't know, you guys need to let me know down in the comments what you think is going on and what you think the solutions are because let's not just complain if you're unhappy about something try to propose a solution all right last look at my town hall 9 before we move on to the maxed out town hall 12 and lost phoenix with their next attempt next attempt at trying to get to champion one we have not given up yet now you'll notice Right here, I've got dragons trained up. We will get to that in just a moment, but it's been a tough week for us so far. We lost the first two wars. We picked up war number three just barely. And so far in war number four, we've got five attacks on the board with five two stars, but your man Galadon has a strategy for a three star attack in this war. We will get to that in just a moment. You can see war and glory pretty much unless something major happens here looks like they've got this sewn up uh, halfway through the week they are so far ahead of everybody else we lost to them pretty handily in day one by five stars and well hey lost phoenix has been nothing if not consistent 28 stars each of the first three days so yes of course that does mean some major one star fails but unfortunately it's just almost unavoidable unless you are a clan that is constantly practicing clan wars. Now, against this Bulgaria clan, our member Jay, great job right here with a somewhat unusual Electro Dragon attack. So check out, luckily for Jay right here, the uh, Town Hall wasn't trapped with a whole bunch of Teslas. You can see right here, Elon Musk not present, just one. The Archer Queen gets that Town Hall down and triggers the Tornado Trap, which is kind of a nice bonus the Electro Dragons don't have to face later on. And then I love this use right here of the one loon and the Electro Dragon at the top, kind of funneling, clearing out an entire quadrant, and then the Barb King at the bottom. So what you can see is 
a clear funnel created on the left hand side of this base where the electro dragons are all going to focus along with a stone slammer some loons and that is going to give maximum value to your rage spells and your freeze spells and then notice this is kind of a backdoor entry take a look at the sweepers they are both pointed away from the entrance that jay makes into the base with the electro dragons and the balloons they're going to come in great value of the rage spells right here not quite overlapping good freeze spells as well on the clan castle troops and the eagle artillery there is your warden's ability good move looks solid and this is why you see the three star right here because of funneling and because of what I've only said it like 7,453 times before. Spell, timing, and placement. Absolutely, Jay just killing it right here. Every spell, pretty much optimal placement and timing. Great value and a bit of an overkill win because Jay's going to have lots of dragons left. Look at the bomb. The Seeking Air Mine takes out the Grand Warden in one shot. But nonetheless, the dragons will persevere through all of the bombs and mines. They've got more than enough hit points left, and you can see four dragons left, just two structures, and Jay basically wins this war right here for Lost Phoenix, and man, I'm telling you, we needed it. The beginning of this week was disheartening for Lost Phoenix. Okay, so now that we've got this wrapped up, let me go into a little bit about what I've got planned in this current war, war number four. Uh, I did claim this base, uh, I flagged this base number 11 in War 4. Now, again, you know, people may be complaining why I'm hitting down, but remember, these are all nearly maxed out Town Hall 12s. It's not like there's a huge difference between number 1 and number 11, okay? So, I'm making excuses for whatever might happen to go wrong here, okay? Well, let's, let's admit this. Okay, now, I did plan this earlier. I, for a bunch of time... Hung out with the clan, we talked, I told them what I was planning, I took input from the war generals in Lost Phoenix about what spells to bring, where to go, what other stuff to do. I even added an Electro Dragon and a Coconut Loon, you'll see where I'm going to put those at Ares' advice. I'm going after number 11. Here we go. So, I'm thinking Bat Dragon would work out because of the vulnerability of the left the, like the 9 o'clock portion of this base, okay? So the single target Inferno right there. Now the idea, this expo, I'm going to drop an Electro Dragon up here. And it's going to pick up those two Archer Towers and the expo. So they will start firing on the Electro Dragon. I'll drop a Coconut Loon first. That's a single balloon that will try to pick up a Seeking Air Mine if there's one in the area. And then, I'm not sure how much damage that Electro Dragon is going to get done. But at least, it will distract. And then down here, that wizard tower, that's going to be distracted as well as the expo and maybe even the air defense by the stone slammer. Then the rage spell, the bat spells go right on that single target inferno at nine o'clock and hopefully get a bunch of defenses out of the area. I drop my dragons down here from six o'clock to about eight o'clock with the warden, one rage spell, and it's a safe two star with a a chance at three i would say that there's a small chance at a three star but it's going to be really hard for this to go wrong from a two star just the sheer number of dragons that are going to be well funneled oh by the way also i'm going to drop the heroes at about nine o'clock and have them funnel those outside buildings okay so here's the army um i i okay everything's here warden set to air there's really no other reason to wait so here we go all right so we start out with the coconut loon and the e-dragon up around 10 o'clock all right and then we go stone slammer down by the wizard tower and then we go rage spell and then all the bat spells gonna drop right on this and then they just gotta hope that it works okay then look for it wait for it okay and then okay now the warden is gonna wait the king and the queen should be fine they're not gonna okay oh bats are doing a great job come on bats keep going keep going keep going okay now the uh, stone slammer went down you see I had two dragons in the stone slammer they're gonna help with the funneling Oh, those bats are going further than I thought. Okay, that's... Okay, I think that's okay. You got... Oh, that's a third of the base. That's a third of the base. Come on, bats. Oh, bats, get the single target Inferno. Oh, come on. Oh, get the single target... Oh, no, the wizard tower. Oh, the sweeper. Okay, fine. All right, so here we go. So we got the rest of the dragons. Oh, man, I hope they go after the town hall. No, oh, please go after the town hall. Okay, King getting ready for his ability here. Okay, and then now... Uh, what, what's next? What's next? Oh, the rage spell. Okay, we're going to hold on. We're gonna wait for the dragons. Okay, the heroes are okay. 
Getting ready with the rage spell on the dragons. And how about... Oh, oh, oh the, 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 the free spell. Okay, and then... And then... Oh, the queen's taking some damage. No, the warden. I need the warden's ability. And then the queen's ability. And now I'm done. Okay, now I'm just going to close my eyes, okay? No, wait. Okay, well, it looks like... Oh, there's the tornado trap. I, I think the town hall, we're good. We got like half the dragons turn left. Oh, come on. Just take the town... Would you stop? There, okay. So there's... Oh, well, that's good damage. Archer Queen's still up. Oh, CC Dragon hurt my Archer Queen. Come on. Oh, Archer Queen survived. Lots of dragons left. And oh, that single target Inferno scares me. Oh my gosh, that single target Inferno scares the life out of me. Look at that thing. All isolated right there. Archer Queen. Can she get the AD down? She's got to get that air defense. Come on, get the air defense down. Come on, last shot. Oh, she got it. She got it. No, dragons. Oh, man. Oh, no, 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 no. There's three more. They're, they should be out of range. No, no, don't do that. Oh, they were out. Oh, come on. No. Oh, all right. There's two more. No, there's. Oh, that's. Wow. This is going to be a 98%. 90. Come on. Oh, it's out of range of the. Oh, uh, this. That doesn't matter. That's that's 99. Fantastic, Galadon. That's exactly what that's going to be, isn't it? Yeah, there's no way. There's no possible. Even with a free spell right here. Oh, gosh. Come on. All right. You know what they say. The strat's not OP. The strat is not OP. I thought I thought I had it, you guys. I thought I had a shot at the three star. Oh, well, hey. You can't... You know, I don't know. We tried. That, that, oh, that's the end of the episode. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you for sticking around all the way to the end. Make sure that you stay tuned for the earliest possible sneak peek update information, more replays and strategy interviews with Dark Looters and other clans later on this week. Love you guys anyway. Thanks for being here. Have a great day. Be kind to the people. Be kind to animals. Be kind to the planet. I'll see you back here again tomorrow for more, hopefully fuller, attacks. Oh, 99. Come on. Galiton! Galiton, good effort, man! Not quite good enough, but good effort. <laughs>